We need to talk about the Neanderthals Club. It's the go-to prop in every bad cartoon, symbolizing a simple, brutish existence. But it's time to retire it for good, because the real tools of the Neanderthal reveal a mind of remarkable sophistication and intelligence. The truth is, the classic club is almost entirely a myth. There's no solid archaeological evidence for it. What we do find are extensive, standardized toolkits that speak of complex mental planning. Their primary technology is known as the Mousterian, named after the site of Le Moustier in France. The signature of this toolkit is the Lavalois technique. This wasn't just whacking a rock to get a sharp flake. This was a multi-stage, strategic process. A Neanderthal napper would first carefully shape a core of stone, like flint, preparing its edges and surface. This preparation allowed them to predictably strike off one single, pre-shaped flecker, perfect spear point or cutting tool. This isn't random bashing, it's foresight, it's mental blueprints and quality control. But they didn't stop at stone. Evidence suggests they were masters of hafting. They would attach these sharp stone points to wooden shafts, using a glue called bitumen. We've found stones with residue of this ancient adhesive. They weren't just carrying sharp rocks. They were crafting composite tools, the prehistoric equivalent of a modern multi-tool. This is a technological leap that requires knowledge of different materials and how to combine them. Their ingenuity extended to other materials, though these are rarer in the archaeological record. They likely created sharp points from bone, used animal hides for clothing and shelter, and fashioned cordage. A stunning discovery in France suggests they even engineered rings of stalagmites deep in a cave, a construction that implies a social purpose beyond mere survival. So, what were they doing with these advanced tools? Their survival depended on them. They were hunting massive, dangerous game like woolly mammoths and rhinos. This requires coordinated group tactics, communication, and highly reliable weaponry. Their tools were not crude. They were precisely engineered for a high-stakes job. They also used smaller, sharper flakes for butchery, scraping hides to make weatherproof clothing, and shaping wood. Their toolkit was comprehensive, designed for every task their harsh Ice Age world demanded. When we look at a Neanderthal tool, we're not looking at a primitive artifact. We're looking at the product of a skilled craftsperson, someone who planned ahead, who understood geometry and material science, and who passed this knowledge down through generations. It's evidence of a culture, not just survival. So, let's put the cartoon club away for good. The real story of Neanderthal technology is far more impressive, and it forces us to see our ancient cousins not as brutes, but as intelligent, adaptable, and highly capable people.